Hello guys and welcome to my video and welcome to my channel. I have been gone for like a month. I should welcome myself to my channel because I've been gone for so long. I have been slacking a bit on videos. It's just been, um, we've gotten to finals week finally next week. So school's been a little crazy. I've also spent a lot of time in my bed under some blankets watching Netflix because it's just that kind of like time for me. It's my hibernation mode because when Seattle gets to like winter or fall then all I want to do is get under a blanket and watch movies. <laughs> so I'm sorry for being MIA. Um, but I am back and I am um, doing something different for this video, something I haven't done on my channel yet, it's not anything different. And that's a favorites video. So I don't have too many favorites, but I do wanna do in-depth like reviews on these favorites that I have. Um, so hopefully it isn't a super long video, but it isn't like a current favorites. These aren't the newest products, but they are products that I have been loving lately. So without further ado, Let's get started. So the first thing that I want to talk about is brushes. I've never done a favorite brushes video um, and that's because I have hated all of my brushes. So I do want to talk about my favorite brushes right now. I have a few that I am hardcore loving. So I do want to compare them to the old brushes that I was using and tell you guys a little bit about the difference between the two. So my first favorite, um, these aren't in any like order or whatever, like first, the best, last, the not the best. It's just kind of what I'm picking up. So the first one that I want to talk about is the Sigma Soft Angled Contour F23 brush. So this one is so good for a contour because as you guys can see from the shape it doesn't look that different from the other contour brushes except it is so this is like an example from my morphe brushes i don't like to link these morphe brushes because they are badger hair brushes so because of that the bristles are really really rough so when you do your makeup, it actually kind of hurts your skin, um, especially the eye brushes. So I don't recommend these brushes. I believe it was 18 pieces for $40, and that's why I got these brushes. I know that Morphe is known for having good brushes, but these badger hair ones, I definitely wouldn't recommend uh, getting these. But my first favorite is the F23, and the reason being is that if you look at the angled brushes, you know, they're usually on the fluffier side. This one, is dense enough that it's almost like those contour brushes. It really just gets into the hollows. So you put it in and then you pick it up. It's actually what I used for my contour today. So what's nice about it is that it really just stays in the hollows of your cheeks. You don't have to worry about it turning into like a blush brush where it gets everywhere. You really just take it into the hollows and it stays there and you can take it like those contour brushes where you push it in and then pull up and you can blend it out that way. So this is a perfect contour brush. It really just gets in there and really helps chisel your cheeks, but as opposed to those other contour brushes, which are, you know, the flat square ones, this one, because of the angled shape, I think gives you a better, more natural looking contour. So I've been loving this brush lately. The next brush I wanna talk about is the Tapered blending brush E40. This is also from Sigma. So just to compare this is my usual blending brush This is from BH cosmetics. It was part of a set um, This is the only brush that I use out of that set because it's a blending brush I don't use it because I love it. I just used it because it was like a blending brush this one on the other hand since it's a tapered blending brush it really gets into the crease as well as above the crease you can use circular motions and it just gets a really good coverage going what i like about these brushes too is that they're so long it almost feels like you're painting um if you look at the size difference between these two this is the e40 from sigma and this is my usual blending brush it's long enough so that you can you really sit back and look at your makeup and really blend as you go and i think that works perfectly um it's long and it just gets in there. I don't know how else to explain it. It just blends. This is the perfect like upper crease shade, like the first shade that you use. 
this is the perfect one to apply that I've been loving this one lately and then the next one that I am die hard loving the Sigma blending e25 brush if any brush you need in your kit or makeup kit or whatever if there's any brush that you need it's this e25 brush this is the best blending brush I have picked up um, what I like about it is that it's so soft it <laughs> and I say that because my usual blending brush is this Morphe brush that was a part of the Badger hair kit that I got. This one hurts so much when I used to blend out with it. Um, and the bristles are all coming out and it just, it's the worst. So this is my new favorite blending brush and it really gets into the crease. I like to use it to do the outside of like a smoky eye and get into the crease and it blends in a nice way where you can really focus that crease and that v-shape area. It's just the perfect blending brush. It's better than any blending brush I've used honestly. I did use these brushes to do my eye makeup so I guess that is an example for you guys. The next two brushes I want to talk about I don't have any like them but they're just ones that I have been loving lately and that is the Sigma Spotlight Duster F37 which is this one so this one I use to apply my under eye powder so I'll take the powder and I'll use this to bake so I'll just take it along the nose and then set the whole under eye and then I also use it to dust away that same powder. I've been loving this lately to do that just because I haven't been using my beauty blender lately um, so it's kind of hard to find a good baking brush because I feel like most people use their beauty blender to bake. Um, so this one's perfect just because of the taperedness of it. It's just so perfect to get under the eye and into all of those lines that I have under here so I like to take it up the nose and then on the side and then it's perfect to blend down the nose too because of the tapered end it can just get there. Last brush that I want to talk about is this Sigma medium angled shading E70 brush. So this brush I have actually started using for my nose contour so it's hard to find a good brush for this. It's not only that but it's hard to do a good nose contour. Um, so I've been loving this one lately because of the angle of it and how how it's like a fluffy brush but it's still thin so you don't have to worry about getting a big line because the bigger the line that you make the wider your nose is going to be so if you're trying to make your nose look smaller you have to have a smaller line so I love to use this one because while I have my bake going I'll just get right in between the bake set here and down the nose and just carve out the nose contour so these are just a few brushes that I have been loving. By no means do you guys have to go buy these. Um, they're just my current favorites. I do have a coupon code for Sigma if you guys are interested. I'll have a link down below that also show my other favorites and I have a coupon code for 10% off if you use EXO Clarabella. So, um, that's kind of exciting. <laughs> so moving on from brushes, I want to talk about palettes. I have to bring up this master palette by Mario. Oh no. I cannot have a favorites video without mentioning the master palette by Mario. I, this is in collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills, by the way. I love this thing. I have started using this as my everyday palette. Um, not every day because I don't do my makeup every day, but every time I do my makeup, it is the palette that I used. It is the palette that I used to do this makeup look right here. Honestly, I tried using my Tartlet palette the other day, which I was in love with forever. Like I loved my Tartlet palette and I tried using it and I was like, why won't these colors blend? Like the colors were not blending, everything looked muddy. Um, everything was like blending together and just looking bad. And I just, I had to start my makeup over because I was just, I, I was like, I can't use this palette. I only use my, the Tarlet palette now for the mirror. Um, because nothing, like once you start using this, once you see the quality of the um, shadows and the blendability and the pigment, other palettes that you have really won't compare. So I have been loving this lately. So the next thing I want to talk about is this Mario Badescu Skincare 
facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I got this from Nordstrom Rack. It's pretty inexpensive. I had a friend recommend this to me and so I had to try it out. Since this one was pretty cheap, I just figured might as well try it. So this is a facial spray and reading the bottle, it says that uh, you can mist it onto the hair, face, and skin throughout the day as needed. You can use it to set your makeup, soothe your skin in dehydrating conditions, or to give your skin a quick boost anytime, anywhere. You just mist it whenever. So I've started to use this to set my makeup and I've been loving it lately. I haven't noticed a difference between, you know, using this or the MAC Fix Plus. Sometimes I don't really check, so I don't really know. But I love this because you it's small enough you can just carry it in your purse. So if you're ever feeling like your face is dry, or if you just want a touch up, or anything like that, you just give yourself a nice little spritz. So I've been loving this lately just as like a nice mist, and I've been using it to set my makeup. And what I like about it is that it's paraben free and it's a cruelty free brand. The next thing that I want to talk about, and I think the last thing, isn't anything beauty related. It's it's more of an accessory-ish. When I got these glasses, I was very pleasantly surprised. I was a little worried that they would be too wide for my face or too big, but I think that these, the shape of them is perfect and it fits my tiny face, so <laughs> I really like that. Um, but these are the glasses that I ended up getting from that company, so I didn't want to wear them throughout the whole video because they do have a glare when I go like this. If you are trying to take a selfie, uh, they have glare. I'm not sure why. I don't know if there's something like in the glasses that glares back green like that. Um, but I have been really liking these, the shape of these glasses. For some reason glasses are like this big fashion accessory right now. Everyone has like those aviator glasses or these round shaped glasses. <sighs> I don't know, I just, I need glasses to see, so I'm always looking out for a good pair of glasses. Um, if you are looking for a good pair of fashion accessory glasses, I like these because they're only about $24, I believe, so they're pretty affordable and you could get a prescription on them or you could get no prescription on them and just wear them for fashion, I guess. I love the like frames, I just think they're so cute and they're really in with the styles that everyone's wearing. The only thing that I would say that I don't like is that they seem a little bit fragile to me, especially considering how thin these are. You have to be fairly careful with them. I already broke the case. <laughs> I think I stepped on it. Um, so that's the one thing I would say is that these definitely seem very fragile. I think that these are cute and if you are looking for a pair, it's from a company called Firmu. I think that they said that I would get a link that gets you a free pair of glasses, I want to say, maybe. So there is a voucher code to get a free pair, so I'll link that down below if you're interested in getting a free pair of glasses. That is the end of my favorites for this month, I guess. Um, let me know if you guys like my favorites video. I know I have a tendency to talk a lot, so um, this could go either way. <laughs> so let me know if you wanna see more favorites videos. So we just, we recently hit 20,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy to me. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much. I got, <laughs> there's, I, there's so many of you guys who I, I who have been with me since I had you know like a thousand subscribers and I always see you guys commenting and ugh, it just my heart like I just I kind of think that we're like best friends even though I know we don't know each other <laughs> I'll just like see like someone's name and I'm like oh there's my girl showing love so <laughs> I just wanted to say how much I appreciate the continued support and just the fact that you guys subscribed and just continue to watch my videos, you know, is crazy to me. So thank you guys so much for 20,000 and we also hit a, a million views um, on my channel, which is crazy, like a million views. That's crazy. I don't, I mean... I don't know, so just a lot of milestones. Um, I'm so thankful. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers. 
All right guys, so that is the end of my video. Um, and I'm sorry for being so MIA. I will definitely try to post more often, late, especially since um, my finals are almost done. So during Christmas, we'll see if I get into the holiday vlogging Christmas makeup looks uh, spirit. <laughs> um, so thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys again for 20,000 subscribers. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Why am I talking so weird? Bye.